Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and it is now time for us to finish off the heroic Mandy Rose. We have of course got the Arcane Roxanne Perez and we have the SummerSlam BCE Shotzi. So let us finish this off. We'll see how powerful our Mandy Rose becomes when we get the heroic version of her. So we'll start with putting Hurricane in the top right corner. So we've got three right arrows and two up arrows. Ned Greer going to take on the Hurricane. That is um, because of the equipment, I'm pretty sure, that we won that match. Otherwise, we would have definitely lost that one. I'm going to put Seamus in here. I'm going to rely on the right arrows. Hurricane should take that. Now we're going to put Bron up here. Bron Breaker. Now we have to rely on this Aparo Triple H defeating Edge. Now we have to rely on the opponent putting one here. If we're going to get a perfect victory. Oh, if Edge beats Finn Balor, then we can win on a perfect. And there we go. Let's put the Braun Strowman double heroic in just for the victory. That is 9-0 against Future Shock. We have 65 picks because I've been running out of space. Which might happen again before we actually win. Oh my goodness. We are right there. And there we go. We have got the heroic upgrade. And there is our first heroic Mandy Rose screenshot for the thumbnail. And we will certainly be getting the second one in the upcoming Road to Glory. And... Make sure that the Mandy Rose is locked in so that we don't go um, dusting her. But we shall dust the rest of these cards away. Which takes us almost on the exclusive board, but not quite. I'm just nearly 180 off. But there we are. I accidentally turned off the mic while trying to hit the back button, as you probably saw. Um, so let's see where our heroic Mandy Rose is. So there she is. She's not. She's almost actually at the same point of our double heroic Alea. Um, so power and toughness are her main ones, with power being fifty six point twenty and toughness being fifty five point eight seven. The speed is the weakest one at 55.26 and charisma is 55.56 you can see there. But once we get those 100 matches up, those statistics should go up and she might even overtake these statistics here of our double heroic Alia. So that's interesting to see. And of course when we get the double heroic she is going to overtake this Becky Lynch because she's going to be on similar stats to our Solus Core and our Braun Strowman, which are both double heroics. And also I'm told that we should be getting a new tier, a new season, very soon. So it's best to pick up this Mandy Rose so you can have very, very strong females going into the new tier. As you can see there, um, she is currently easily our strongest down arrow with Tiffany Stratton being the next one, which actually... I think that means we can get rid of a down arrow. No, the previous down arrow was this Asuka. Ah, we can't get rid of it because it's a very special exclusive card, which is very cool looking. Thought we could have maybe got rid of something there, but nope, it was not to be. I think we're going to pick the image back to the <laughs> regular event one. Uh, I swapped the image so that when I take the screenshot, it looks a little bit different on the thumbnail for you guys to see. 
So once again, we are at 18 of our 20 members in the team. So if you do want to join the team, make sure to click that Discord uh, link that is found in the description. Just mention that you're a fan of the Grand Cat and you want to join our Arcane Plus Plus team. And we will get you all of the Arcane rewards so long as you follow the minimum requirements. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, that Ring Domination is over, as is the video. So that's going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go out. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.